Are you prepared for what you're about to do? <laughs> uh, not quite yet, but we've got a year until, until the race starts, so it's enough prep time. We feel quite unsteady on the River Crouch here. What about the Atlantic? Yeah, yeah it's going to be rocky out there. But, um, oh, there we go, look. Um, yeah, you just got, just got to go with the waves. It's, yeah, it should be good. What gave you the idea? Uh, Angus and I actually spoke about it over a year ago and uh, kind of got the crazy, crazy idea in our head. He said that his uncle might hold the world record for it and uh, then we, uh, after a couple of pints, got speaking to these two and here we are. Have you got any notion of how tough this is going to be? Um, I think the mental side of it is really one that we've got to get our head round because it's unrelenting for you know, 40, 50, 60 days, however long it takes, and uh, not much sleep and a lot of rowing and a lot of wet. <laughs> Angus, now you've just gone across the Indian Ocean, is that right? Tell me about that and why you wanted to embark on this adventure straight after. Um, yeah, I got back from the Indian Ocean a couple of months ago. I'd already arranged to do this with, it, with this team across the Atlantic and didn't really, we, weren't, we were well prepared for the Indian Ocean, but we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. And yeah, it's some real big waves. You go through some weird experiences when you're not, not sleeping well, you're not eating well, and you're just exhausted. So knowing that now, I'm really excited about the Atlantic. I know what I'm getting myself into, and hopefully gonna train, train these guys up so we're all well prepared. What are your thoughts on sharing a rowing boat for over a month with three, three of your best mates? Uh, it's lucky they're best mates because you couldn't do it with anyone else. Uh, you get to you, some things that they'll do. I'm sure we'll all hate each other at stages, but we'll come out and we'll all love each other at the same time. So, being a, a small space is never going to be easy doing it with anyone. But as, we've known the, we've known each other as a team for eight, ten years now, so we know each other really well. So it shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. Yeah. How do you prepare yourself for living for such a long time in, in such a confined space? That's the bit you can't really prepare for. You've got physically, we're all getting physically fit and we're going to the gym a lot and mentally you can't really get around that. You can't train yourself for something that big. You can't, we can go and lock ourselves in a room for 48 hours and we can do as much rowing like this as possible. But at the end of the day, it's not going to compare to 30 days at sea when we're tired and stressed. None of you get seasick, do you? Uh, I, I did get seasick in the Indian Ocean, <laughs> so <laughs> round two coming up. <laughs>